So uh, it's your boy QB Killer 1998. I'm actually not born in 1998, but who, who gives a fuck? Uh, I'm a young programmer. I have no second YouTube channel. I do, but fuck that shit. And uh, yeah, uh, I'm uh, also 18 years old, and uh, I have a small PP. <laughs> Let's wait, go. But wait, 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 wait. Small PP doesn't necessarily mean bad because in uh, you know in Rome. If you had a small PP, yeah, you were ancient actually pretty smart. Rome Empire, <laughs> small penis meant big brains, bro. So what's up, everybody? Welcome to the Nut Room, where your wildest dreams come true. Today, your host here, Fellowy, together with QB. QB, say something. Yeah. What up, boys? It's your boy QB. Skinny penis in the building. Yeah, so this is our first podcast, and we will be talking about a very interesting topic. Uh, a topic that most people actually like to talk about, I think, or maybe not. But before we do so, we will first introduce ourselves. So I'm Fellowy, 18 years old. I have a separate YouTube channel where I, where I made Minecraft videos, but I stopped recording uh, because of school. Well, that's actually a pretty bad excuse because I just didn't want to make videos about minecraft anymore so yeah we started this podcast series and yeah that's basically about me so qb your turn so uh it's your boy qb killer 1998 i'm actually not born in 1998 but who, who gives a fuck uh i'm a young programmer i have no second youtube channel i do but fuck that shit and uh yeah uh, i'm uh, also 18 years old and uh i have a small pp <laughs> Let's wait, go. But wait, 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 wait. Small PP doesn't necessarily mean bad because in uh, you know in Rome, if you had a small PP, yeah, you were actually pretty smart. Rome Empire, <laughs> small penis meant big brains, bro. So yeah, get on my league. So yeah, everyone <laughs> here who has a small PP, make sure to comment down below. Then you're just well, a smart that, guy. That, that, whoa, 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 that me that actually makes sense. That's why Asian people are smart. Yeah. Damn. That's why they get 100% on math. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Alrighty, that was the introduction. So let's get to the topic. Uh, QB, you can do the honors and introduce the topic of today. Bro, the topic of today is a big no-no. It's a cancel culture, goddammit, bro. No -no. Where the dream stands, where the Twitter users go wild about and use it to protect their uh stupid opinion on god knows whatever they're thinking about so fellowy on your yeah. your you're 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 the host yes, you're yes. the creator bro what do you think of cancel culture what do you think well my it? my opinion on it but before before i tell my opinion like the habitat for those people is basically just twitter the, the app twitter mm -hmm. that that's their main <laughs> main base you should say. i mean from from twitter it goes over to discord and then to all other social media platforms but uh, we're not going to talk about that now um my opinion on it to be honest i hate it it's just i don't know can you call it actually it's childish a little childish cancel culture it's toxic you know yeah it, it's really toxic that's that's mm -hmm. the first main thing about it and then uh yeah it's depression <laughs> it's like if you're, adults if, if you're on twitter yeah it's it's about adults too like the they're mainly adults but the fandoms are like 13 to 15 years old kids who just don't know about anything about life uh mm -hmm. but the main problem is that like if you say one thing wrong on twitter you instantly get cancelled by like a lot of people so you got to be careful on twitter anyways that was a little opinion of mine uh you can continue the talking all right, all right, all right. So, cancel culture, bro. Uh, it's crazy shit. Uh, it became popular in 2019, you know, um, in the run of Barack Obama and Donald uh, Trump. They got canceled for things they did wrong. Uh, things people did not, you know, like about their runs. And I'm like, bro, some people in the cancel culture who use that don't actually understand that people just are not perfect like everyone is going to make a mistake even if you're the highest of the highest if you have a certain role model to display not yeah. everyone is perfect and not everyone is going to do right things yeah, we're all gonna make mistakes you see there is a big problem with that and uh 
the main thing is that people go really in depth like to the the max level of like making someone's life worse because they did like something wrong like, like doxing that, yeah. yeah death threats and such so i that's like the main reason why i hate uh cancel culture and uh, why i'm mainly not on twitter <laughs> <laughs> Back, same thing i do like a social media detoxing great shit bro uh but that's that's not the case right now like cancel culture but like if people found out about me like i was uh a big simp back in my youth and i went on dating discord servers and you know about this fellow we we're good friends we're like yes. brothers from another mother yes, yes. god damn bro did i do simp ass things did i do weird shit to get the attention of girls, bro. I get, I might get cancelled for that shit, but... Yeah. Man, that, did I grow up from it, bro. That's something everyone, like, usually does. It's it's life, you know? I mean, the well, ma the like, ma if you're a male, you're attracted to a woman, and that's perfectly fine, but... I mean... Whoa, 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 whoa. That's homophobic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna cancel you right there, bro. <laughs> uh, oh, boy. This, right, this is okay. going to be a controversial... Shitty thing, yeah, bro. Oh my god. I... The reason the reason I said it like that because when I was little, I didn't know about that stuff. I, like I didn't know about <laughs> gay people. When I was like in first year of high school, I was just chasing for girls. Yeah, I was chasing for girls, but I didn't know about gay people or like anything about LGBTQ. So that's why I said like if you're like a um, uh, male, you chase women. <laughs> but like all right. It's, it's a stereotype. We understand. We understand. You apply <laughs> your own life into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nonetheless, bro. So, uh, as I said, the president, uh, especially Donald Trump, uh, called it a totalitarian, uh, uh, total, uh, totalitarianism. Fucking difficult word to pronounce. Yeah. I'm sorry. In English difficult. And that basically says um, cancel culture uh, is used to have total control over person. Do you agree with that? Do you like, think cancel culture like, uh, will control a person for the rest of their life? Will it haunt yeah, them? I, I think so, because like if it's a really big audience that's like against you, I think that will have a big impact on how your life uh, goes. I mean... Mm -hmm. It can go the bad way or a good way if you like if you're good with ignoring people and not really caring then I think you'll be perfect to find but if you're someone like me who easily gets like disturbed by people hating on you or just uh, you know if you're emotional if you're someone emotional then but, like, uh, I think culture, that can have a big impact on your life I think yeah but like cancel culture can like uh, use for the good like. Uh, the case of EDB 445, the Predator, the Cupcake yeah, Chaser. Of course. <laughs> the, the, those are the you know, like everything has its positive side and negative mm -hmm. side. And cancel culture exactly. has that one positive side when people can really, like on social media, they can come together and uh, like go against someone who really did something bad and they want them gone. That, that, yeah, that's, like that's actually something good. That can, uh, that can be good at times, but... What I mostly notice is that it's the negative side, so I'm not gonna say more about that. <laughs> yeah, like in the case of EDB 445, as I said, uh, as, pre as, uh, as previous, I'm sorry. And also Shane Dawson, like uh, the man, the YouTuber that uh, especially was also a pedophile. So both two pedophile cases and were victims of cancel culture, but that was used the goods of humanity people who uh were pedophiles and gained million of followers millions of dollars by making youtube videos and nobody knew about them and their past and when it comes to you know the open ocean uh to the surface um people did cancel them and that was actually a pretty good case because like it should be used that way and not like in the way of how dream sands uh, cancel non-dream stands and dream haters out of yeah. their uh, community and even go further by doxing them. You know, so I, I just want to add something. You know how because of the large amount of people who are like uh, participating in the uh, cancel culture, like in the dream stand, mm -hmm. 
You know, you have like normal fans in each fandom, like uh, people mm -hmm. who just casually like the creator and uh, just watch their content casually. Yeah. But because of the cancel culture, it's uh, sometimes hard to separate uh, separate those people. And uh, when someone says they just watch their uh, watch them casually, yeah, you, other people won't believe it, and they tend to tell them that they are actually part of that cancel culture. I mean, mm -hmm. that's that's exactly. my opinion on it. But like. Dream is also then a supporter of uh, cancel culture and the pursuit of doxing the haters because Dream motivates by tweeting to his followers uh, as like God himself and people believe that. Like we see so many messed up things of younger kids yeah, that, uh, that's, younger that's than my issue. age. That's the issue. Yeah, following you him know, like he's God. I'm like, you know, he's a normal that, kid. That's what it is. It's a kid. Those are kids. They're, they're young and uh, they don't really know uh, how it goes. They're like seeing that creator as like a main leader or something. And mm -hmm. the dream has its command to just say something to the community and then they'll do it instantly. That's how it's like basically controlling a army sort of type of thing. Yeah. Like social media is a big influence, but that is a topic for another day. So to social media, no, 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 we're not going to talk about that. We're well, social continue media on is the a topic for culture. Monday at school. Yeah, ah. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, big topics, bro, big topics. Big topic, but yeah. like the main reason of cancel culture is Generation Z or Gen Z for short. That includes us. People call us or tend to call us the snowflake generation, generation that is weak uh, can't take a lot of cr criticism, is easily, uh, easily uh, agitated by uh, critique and yeah. other people, their opinion, uh, and of course, easy access to the World Wide Web or the internet at a young age. Do you think that those are the main reasons why cancel culture exists? Maybe. It's maybe like a collision between uh, the, the generations maybe mm -hmm. so, you know you know the, like the gen a after us like they're mm -hmm. they're now like part of the like the uh the millennials. Young, younger yeah. they're, they're like the younger age uh part of the fandoms they're like the i was oh yeah gen a so gen, yeah okay, gen, okay, gen a is okay, like the, the kids, one yeah. after gen z the, those are like yeah okay the, not the millennials i'm no, sorry no, no, yeah, not the, the <clears throat> okay yeah but like do you do, do you think like this easy access to the internet at a young age because back when i was younger and when you were younger we had the playstation but that wasn't access to the internet no that was yeah, that, a game that, console that was gaming we, that was that was something yeah separate like, than uh, just the internet until i was what um pff, let me think what well, well fellow when did you start watching youtubers like at what age oh i gotta think about that maybe think about like it, bro. seven eight I think seven eight and what did you watch like what did i watch what youtubers well i think i started first started watching like uh probably gaming at the time like uh, a few gaming uh, videos and then uh probably after that minecraft i remember watching mm -hmm. like a lot of minecraft that's that's like the main thing i was watching minecraft was a big thing but minecraft wasn't that toxic as no the, the community minecraft wasn't that toxic no but it changed. Right now, there's like a, uh, a part of the fandom that it's really toxic in Minecraft too. Mm. And that's because of... I don't know if it's mainly because of Dream, but but maybe, I don't know. It's it's just the fandom. It's because of the community. Yeah, it's I don't community. I don't think Dream is the only cause, but like the whole thing going around it. I don't know. I, I don't know their names, but the guy with the black and white mask and the sunglasses and... and the other guys. Oh yeah, Jordan uh, Fon and then uh, the, yeah. the Tommy. I mean, Tommy. I, I I'll bet that Tommy <laughs> in it is like the best among them because uh, he has like a sense of humor and he actually just makes other people laugh. So I yeah, don't, Tommy. I, I, I don't. Like, I, I don't. Out I don't of all know. of them, he is pretty good. Out of out of all of them, he's pretty good yeah, because like true. he met other creators and especially KSI and he was like having he's, the best moment with that guy. Yeah, he's a, just making funny content. He's just making yeah. funny content. He uh, he doesn't use his, he uses his audience, you know, to uh, culture uh, himself as a god. You could easily like say he does. doesn't actually give a shit and he just does what he wants to do. That's, yeah, that's exactly. basically it. That's, 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 that's how it should so, be. 
it's like a, a 90 percent uh cause of the dream community uh except tommy in it like i think out of all of them he is the chillest uh but yeah um Oh yeah, guys, uh, don't uh, start hating in the comment section because uh, we're yeah. talking a little ill about uh, the Dream SMP. Uh, but it's a, it's it's, a huge it's problem. The reason well, why we're talking about it is just yeah. because today's topic is cancelled culture, so of course it's going to be mentioned in it. Uh, we're also going to talk about other people, other famous people, who have yeah, been a victim be. of the cancel culture, and we're going to argue if they deserved it or didn't deserve it. But anyway, so... <clears throat> So you were um, watching, I assume, Mark Plyer, Jack Septica, and PewDiePie, because yeah, yeah, yeah. those, those, those guys were, the main, were they were the main of uh, YouTube. They were yeah, like the top. and like Den TDM, uh, uh, exploding TNT. Oh, let's not forget about him. Those were the godly Big guys cheap. of our days, Big and cheap. yet they <laughs> they didn't like use their community. They didn't use their following into. What, what what other content creators are doing those nowadays people, those content creators just did what they like to do they loved just uh, doing what they did i think right now the reason on uh, that most people on youtube are like doing stuff it's is money it's probably A after pop, money yeah. or else just like i don't know the popularity famous for the fame yeah yeah like in an interview dream has said uh, he cracked the code and he basically, you know, like, was was playing with the algorithm to become famous. So he actually told on himself, yo, I, I became a YouTuber because I cracked the code. I wanted to make money and I wanted to be famous. You see, so, I, want, I actually want to give props for uh, that to him. Like, Tommy and it too. Do, I don't know how they did it, but they somehow, uh, somehow found, found a way to break the algorithm and then get their videos popular. That's actually... Mm -hmm. It's not that easy, and uh, maybe one, one time it will happen to us, but uh, yeah, I for now. I hope so, bro, because <laughs> the nut room, bro, where the your wildest room. dreams come yeah. true. <laughs> Everyone is accepted here, unless you're part of LGBT. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. No trans rights here. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Don't cancel me, guys. Don't cancel me. Fuck that shit. <laughs> All right. Um, um, okay. Yeah. What's um, next? What's next? So, I was talking about the dream and dream dad and and all about, but like there are people who are victims of cancel culture himself, and I'm gonna start off with a popular one, J.K. Rowling. I assume you know who she is. If you don't, I will slap you, fellowy. I will slap you. I know him. Him? Her. It's a her. It's a oh, woman, yeah, wait, bro. The, it's, it's the one who wrote the... Uh, God, Harry, I will slap you. Ha Harry Potter. Harry Potter. <laughs> God damn it, Bonnie. I will slap you. I will slap a little you. pymation. Yeah, actually, I, I, accidentally, I accidentally <laughs> said uh, him. So, <laughs> the, the Harry Potter, Harry uh, the Potter. woman herself, gray woman wrote great books i loved all of them but she got cancelled uh it was a while ago in 2019 i think it, it was uh, because uh she did something that was against lgbtq people or something i don't exactly. know exactly look you're on point bro uh she was apparently transphobe uh a uh, twitter uh the human right campaign says trans women are women trans men are men non-binary people are non-binary cc jk rowling and uh alfonso, alfonso david uh stated with says uh, jk rowling says she's opposed to fundamentalism in any form but she's promoting a harm from fundament, uh, fundamentalism that endangers the lgbt community particularly transgender youth she uh, she should apologize do you think uh that like the LGBT, LGBTQ uh, is, you know, um, hating towards straight people and canceling us out because, you know, we're not part of that community. I mean, there is like every like every other fandom, there is a toxic uh, group out of the, them. So mm -hmm. it's a yes and no, because you can't just say everybody is like that. Mm. It's but the meme. There, well, yes, there are, but actually, no. <laughs> But there are, of course, people who are, will participate in the in the toxic side of things. Mm -hmm. And but I like, that's a big um, issue. But so she tweeted, uh, 
dress however, however you please, call yourself whatever you like, sleep with any consenting adult who, uh, will, you, uh, will have you, live your best life and peace and security, but force women out of their jobs for stating th that sex is real. That was a tweet, uh, and apparently uh, with someone seeing trans right as such a previous point in the UK at the moment, many comment uh, that it was dangerous for Rowling to tweet out such an opinion to her 14 million followers, and thus far all this commotion on Twitter with her. Do you agree that she should be cancelled just by that? Um, uh, no. To be honest, no. No. Cancel and why canceling no? is no actually right. I mean, you know, people make mistakes and uh, they can learn out of it. And uh, I think exactly. it would be better off if people just corrected it instead of just hating and becoming toxic. That would be mm -hmm. way more better than just started hating on the people, doxing and uh, etc. and doing all that other stuff that adds up exactly. to it. Like, even if she's 56 years old, guys, a woman at that age, a man at that age, can still make mistakes. We're human beings and we should not forget that. You Indeed. Know? That's that's the thing. Everyone's human. And it's 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 this thing, this dilemma with social media that whenever you have a huge following you should be careful with what you're saying and I completely completely agree with that. But some sometimes a person has his own ideologies and his own mentalities, you know? And us as a human, us as a, a, a follower of that certain person, we should realize that sometimes those ideologies are not fitted with us and you should completely ignore it. Like if Fellowee, let us say, became racist against black people, I'm just saying, guys, I'm not saying he is. No. I wouldn't consent with that. Why? Because it's it's not mine. I it's not my ideology, but I will still be friends with him. Yeah. Well at you least know, if you yeah. don't kill anyone. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, don't, true. Don't, yeah, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't kill anyone. Anyone guys, watching don't... this video who is actually part of that, don't kill. Don't don't, don't kill. That, don't that kill, bro. Mean. If you kill, bro. I will kill you. Oh shit. Uh, hey yo, you're Fuck, canceled. I messed up. Who are shit. you again? <laughs> uh, I'm a I'm a. <laughs> uh, well, so uh, like, you gotta think about the emotional side of things too. You know how like when a big group of people started to start doing those stuff uh like doxing and stuff stuff to mm -hmm. someone it can really uh re really just hurt the other person mentally and uh, there have been a lot of cases of course like people getting depressed and then committing suicide like you, you just gotta think before what before you say anything towards someone i mean they can of course if, if they did something bad and they afterwards uh, What's the word? Regretted it. Yeah. Yeah, regret and correct their mistake. Then uh, I think you should be able to like be more friendly. I think not not friendly, but mm -hmm. there's another word for it. Like not not be toxic in general. You know, not mm -hmm. not being toxic and just pro trying to solve it by uh, correcting them and uh, telling what they did wrong. I think that's the most right way to do it instead of just doxing and uh, other stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh man, like, even though a person truly deserves to get, like, their life ruined because of their past mistakes or their uh, uh, present made mistakes, I don't, I don't think, like, hurting yeah. that certain person is gonna make, make, make it better, bro. I think, you yeah. know, you should talk to them and, and convince them what they did was really, really, really wrong and, you know, like, try to convert them to the right path because... On, because only then, I think, we as a human race, we will reach our highest potential. Because, like, we're always dragging each other down with this shit, man. We're always yeah, doing that shit. Yeah, true. It's hurtful. You know, like, everyone has regrets. That person mm -hmm. may maybe made a bad mistake. And uh, it you got you got mad because of, because of it. But, like, you gotta remember that you, you yourself made mistakes in life, too. Like, things you regret. Yeah. So you the person the might have one. made like yeah the person might have made like a bigger mistake like killing a person or I don't know raping a, like it happened all right it's terrible it's bad but I'm like you can't return to the pot you can't you know like save it from his action like maybe at least like 
give him some advice of course he uh, he's got to be punished or i don't know like it's it's difficult man it's human emotions I, i'm terrible yeah. with it i don't want to go further into it but like i'm i'm not pro raping i'm not pro murdering i'm just like it's human emotions it's messed up guys it's messed up i'm, yeah, it's, I'm it's stressing true. out guys what the <laughs> fuck are you doing with me man i'm having this cancel culture topic and i'm canceling myself i'm yeah. i'm having a mental breakdown well, jesus christ well you're canceled <laughs> fuck <laughs> i didn't even start god damn end it all show. right okay end so show. <laughs> <laughs> so another another person uh that uh, has been cancelled uh, recently is Jimmy Carr. I don't know if you know Jimmy Carr. Uh, uh, well, do you know him? Is it, is it the one uh, who made a joke? Uh, no, wait. I don't know. He, he made I a need, joke. I made him. You're kind of right with that. Oh, is it, is it with, uh, with, with, who was it? Was it like at the awards? The, the guy who was on, uh, like the meme. Is, is he meme right now? Like. Uh, I don't know about that, but Jimmy Carr I need some is information. on oh. Netflix, new Netflix series, His Dark Materials, if you know about that. Oh, yeah, I don't watch Netflix. <laughs> uh, same, so I same, don't same, have same, any but, uh, background. Like, I recently stumbled on it while doing my research. Right. So Jim Carr's, Jimmy Carr's uh, Netflix series uh, special, His Dark Materials, big, big cancel thing there. Uh, went on twitter the traveler moment uh, movement the traveler movement tweeted we've launched a petition to netflix calling for the removal of the segments of dar his dark materials which celebrates the romani genocide join us uh, join with us to send at netflix uk a clear message hashtag stop traveler hates to jim uh, yeah. jimmy uh car but uh, he like said in his as, as a joke no one wants to talk about the positive of the fact that thousands of people in, in, the, in the traveling community were killed by Nazis, uh, referring to the Holocaust in which uh, estimate half a million Roma and Sinti people in Europe were murdered by Nazis. Uh, the comments have been slammed by various uh, charities along with PM Boris Johnson, Health Secretary Sajid uh, Javid and MP Nadia Widom and things like that. Yeah, uh, it's and yeah. Pretty... So the traveler movement uh, tweeted with a certain flag. Uh, looks a bit wacky in my opinion, but uh, their design, their use. So, do you think for that one joke about uh, how much, how many years? It's like two, uh, 2022 right now. Uh, mm -hmm. Happened in ninety forty. <laughs> Uh, 60s, uh, 80, 80, 82 years? 82 years. 82 years I mean, ago. It's it's a tragic uh, event that happened mm -hmm. in the past. And, uh, you know, there there's a, always a limit to a joke. Like, I mean, like what happens after after he, uh, he posted that joke, I think that's just like d getting too deep, like uh, people overreacting about it. But I still think he is kind of wrong making a joke about uh, a tragic event in the past. Like, uh, you shouldn't mm -hmm. just be joking around with it. I mean, but like, I, can, I could understand. It happened, so, it happened almost a hundred years ago. Do, don't you think, like, as a human, we should forget, forgive uh, what happened? And, you know, like, he's trying to make a joke out of it. And I know that sounds wrong. Millions of people were killed, but, like... We're not gonna get those million people back like yeah, so true. many muslims die in in palestine i'm a muslim myself nice. and i i joke about it why because like I, if i if i cry about it those people are not gonna resurrect themselves and be there again like i, I jo joke about it to stay positive you know to smile and go through life yeah. it's also it's actually terrible what what happens but you know you got to stay positive and uh, demoral uh, demorialize yourself. Yeah. So yeah. I think staying, staying it's, negative it's not really, help. it's it's not really a cancel worthy thing. Yeah. People I, I, overreact I'm, a little. I'm completely agreeing with that. It's not cancel worthy. Like because he is not the only one. Like tons of people are making the same joke over and over everywhere. So I don't think uh, he deserves to be canceled just for that. 
but he That's actually uh, said uh, two things about the canceling uh, uh, fiasco about himself. He said, I'm going to get canceled. That's the bad news. The good news is I'm going down swinging. And uh, the second one, the joke that ends my career is already out there. It's on YouTube, Netflix or whatever. And it's fine until one day it fucking isn't. That's what he said. Yeah. I think I think that's a pretty chat Sigma male move out from him. <laughs> I know, right? Is I like, think that's a Sigma move. That's, Jesus a, that's Christ, a ten bro. out of ten. Bro, that that man had no balls, bro. He didn't care, bro. No balls, no fucks given. Jesus. Testosterone. <laughs> bro, that man, no, he doesn't have testosterone, bro. Oh yeah, he doesn't testosterone have balls. He doesn't have balls. Is him? Well, I don't know how you say it, bro. But this guy has no balls of steel. This yeah. guy has no balls. He, he has no dick, no balls, and probably not no a bottle. No dick, <laughs> no balls, and probably no bottle because that guy probably feeds off radiation. radiation. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, bro. But do you think more people should react like that? Like, I don't give a fuck if I get cancelled, you know, you do you. I think that's the best way to go around with it, I think, mm -hmm. when a group of people are just uh, on, your, on their way to cancel you. If you if you're if you're gonna know it like beforehand that something like that is going to happen, then I think you should just be ready and to not give a shit about it, and just go along with it, I guess. But if you're not ready and you just get a surprise attack by a whole as uh, fandom who is behind you, uh, just because you made a joke and you're about to get cancelled, uh, yeah, good luck with that. Yeah, but this this guy handled it as a chat like. Yeah, he, he had no fucks given. Jimmy Carr, Sigma Male of 2022, and it's a, actually a recent cancel, so that's why I picked it. So, Jim Carr, if you see this, you got my huge respect, man, for not giving a singular fuck of what happening. You got no balls. Revolving around you. Yeah. <laughs> you, 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 you no he's balls. certified Sigma Male, uh, uranium uh, uh, feeding human being, bro. He doesn't need balls. But, yeah, bro. No balls, no dick, and <laughs> probably no bottle. Uh, yes. Because. Because. Because, fellow, because. Because. He... Because. Uh, God no, no. damn it! <laughs> God damn it! He feeds on radiation. Exactly. And do we feed off radiation? Yes. No, we feed off the nut room because <laughs> that's where the wildest dreams come true, ladies and gentlemen. Thank yeah, you so I, much for I watching. Ate, I eat nuts daily, you know. Exactly, nuts. <laughs> they, 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 they got the saturated. They, no, they, 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 you know, they, they, you know, nuts. you know, you know the nuts on the human body. I ate those. <laughs> Whoa, that's a, hey, yo, hey, that's yo. a little <laughs> sus there, guys. <laughs> so the LGBTQ, you got, you guys can see, we're not homophobic. We're all with you. We ate the nuts of the man. All right, so burn the flag, no worries about the flag. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> no kidding. Oh my god, oh, bro! We gotta end this podcast with a big All ass right. nut on your face. Hey, yo. you better swallow it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, yo, bro! God damn. Hey, yo. So, fellow, what do you got to say hey. to the people who right. watch this yes. podcast to the last minute? All right, everyone who tuned in with us till the end of this podcast, thank you for listening. We'll be back with another interesting topic soon, I think. Yeah. As long as uh, uh, school so. doesn't yeah. uh, kick our butts. <laughs> yeah, yeah, true. Yeah. School. That was school. a nice. That was a nice school uh, podcast. Exists, yeah. Please, guys, don't cancel us because we talked about cancel <laughs> culture. Actually, that I would mean, be the dopest thing to happen in the human history, bro. We got canceled on a uh, cancel culture <laughs> podcast. YouTubers <laughs> called the Nutcast canceled because of topic cancel culture. Wow, how is that possible? Anyways, guys, thanks for tuning in with this podcast. If you followed it till the end, make sure to leave a com comment down below. If you have any suggestions or an opinion on what we told or if you can correct something, make sure to let that, n let that down in the comment section too. We'll be back with another interesting topic. This was Fellow E, your host, together with QB, the killer. Exactly. And the one and only not himself in the nut room bro where your wildest <laughs> dreams come, come fucking true exactly and we will see you guys back in the next episode fellow hey, i'm a busting nut i'll see you yeah see you later man good luck with busting that nut <laughs>